I'm here with Claire outside um, Coffee and Carrot in the middle of Eastport by the Memorial Roundabout. And uh, I was just remembering when it was we first met, which was May 2011 uh -huh. at the old Transvisions, which sadly ended about, I think, September 2012 that went. As I was saying, it was the last time I ever saw Mandy, who's, we were talking about how transient, you know, someone wrote the other day that trans scene really means transient scene because people disappear from it so fast and Mandy, no one's seen since that first transition, uh, trans, transvision and uh, she's been described to me somewhat sadly as missing presumed dead, she, she wasn't in very good health and uh, no one's seen her for five years, so, and that's what happens, people just start and vanish, I mean, they too soon to die, right? Transvisions as itself disappeared because Susie, who ran it, moved away or something, and that was the end of the event, and these things are very fleeting. And we were also saying about sort of venues, I've heard there's a new venue in Bex Hill, but no one's heard anything about it officially, it's always rumours, there are places and they come and go and very often you're told about a place and then when you go there you find it's gone. It's already disappeared. I mean, Heather and I went all the way to Tunbridge Wells a couple of years ago for a lunchtime drinky in some yeah. bar. And it turns out we asked about it, couldn't find it. Oh, it's a lovely place. It closed three years ago. I mean, this is, these things are not always kept up to date, but in a way that's what makes it interesting. That friend of yours that I first met you with, she's vanished. She's she gone. She's disappeared. Know. Well, I think she's found somebody else, darling. That's what happens, doesn't it? Yeah, and there's this. Yeah. I mean, there was that roller roller boot one. It's only there for the first time, and she was fabulous. Wore white roller boots, roller booted around the place. Yeah. And I thought she'd be happy, but I never saw her again. Mm -hmm. People just appear, and then they disappear. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'll have to come out with you sometime, darling, you know, Ooh. with Heather and such like, you know, go places. We used to. Have good fun. Yeah. We used to. We yeah. used to far more, sort of, five or six years ago than, than we do today, you know? Well, I used to have a friend, you know, and uh, we used to go to London sometimes to dances and that sort of thing. It was really nice. Yeah. It was really nice. We used to get home about four or five o'clock in the morning. Ah. Uh. Oh, it was really nice. Yeah, I did enjoy that, but she's, well, she's not around anymore. That tends um, to happen. Pardon? That tends to happen. Yeah, it does, it does. But we had some good times. We used to meet a lot of people. We used to have a lot of people. She used to have parties and that sort of thing in her house. Hastings? Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. Really quite enjoyable. Some of the parties were really nice. Ah. A bit naughty sometimes, but you know. Nice. Well, I was talking to Fabulous Robbie about naughty parties and basically saying that I've never got on with them. Not because I disapprove of naughty parties, but the ones I go, well, went to, because I'm out of that life now anyway, but when I did go to naughty parties, they were always dreadful. They were always boring. No, oh, I've had some good times. Oh, you don't mind me asking. Four years ago, I suppose, and before that. Yeah. And I also thought another place I used to go to was really nice. We used to have a lot of things and just have with different people and that. Yeah, it didn't change. Yeah, it's really lovely. Mm. Yeah. No, naughty parties never liked me. I think it's like to stay at home and watch films now. I, Do you? Yeah, I'd much, much rather watch the Shaw Brothers Kung Fu movie. Oh yeah. Which yeah. Heather introduced me to than, than go to naughty parties because nothing naughty ever happens out there. You know, it's, it's just, at least nothing really bad ever happens, or I hopefully, but yeah. it's just I would rather abandon the naughty party thing. I gotcha. Yeah. But it is interesting you should bring that up because the fabulous Robbie was on about that when we yeah. to Seaford. Yeah. Yeah, in Seaford. We're not in Seaford, we were on the bus because we were going to a totally legit party and uh, I mentioned the naughty party I'd been in Seaford to in Seaford donkeys years ago and um, I said well basically it was the crappiest of the crap but I've never been to a good one. You've never been to a good one? Never! I have oh, never, I have. I've never been to a good naughty party and uh, quite frankly I'm not bothered if I do now. I'm much more into other things. I've moved on. I've moved on. Good. It's very enjoyable to sit out here in the sun, darling, isn't it? 
although we're in the shade, the sun's well, out there. It is, because we've had what I consider to be just about the longest winter we've ever faced. It's been awful. Yeah, yeah. When it's, it's, it's June now and I'm still wearing a coat half the time. Well, there you go. I mean, I understand it's going to be hot later on, but we can see. We have had a hot period. Yeah. Yeah. See, people abroad will wonder about why people in this country talk about the weather all the time. It's a polite thing, but it's not. It's because it's kind of extreme. We have a marine climate, and it's like being at sea. It's like being on a ship, especially here, right on the coast. And it's, it can be weird and unpredictable. And you know, it's like one day it's boiling, and the next yeah. it's freezing, and you can't always tell. And people who live in sort of more stable parts of the world, like the American Midwest, probably don't understand why weather is such an issue in Britain. But it well, it's is. so varied here, isn't it? It Some is. Place, I mean, I've got to say that it's, it can be boring if it's the same all the time. Yeah. But we do get a variation. That's what we talk about, it, really. Yeah, it is. It's why it's a British thing. It's not a politeness thing. It's just how the country is. Uh, That's a, often a misconception. Yeah.